right, so now it's time to assemble our pen kit. A couple of things I do to just get things going in a good direction is I always clean my ends with some denatured alcohol. Nobody wants to get a dirty pen and certainly if you know the, the pen needs to be disassembled or is taken apart at another date and time, uh, you don't want people to see something that's not attractive. Now one of the things I'm noticing is I have some glue in here that I need to deal with and this is really important with these acrylester blanks because the slightest amount of pressure, outward pressure here is going to cause the blank to crack. So I have this tool that I use to get in there and it helps me to uh, clear out the glue and you'll see I'm getting most of that out. It also creates a uh, little bit of an entry point for um, I'm looking at this, I'm just trying to make sure that my tube isn't damaged. I think I'm just seeing things. Okay. Uh, also gives me a good entry point. So I've often on the acrylics, I'll just do it on the ends anyways. And this way I've got uh, a nice, it kind of helps center the, the pen parts as they go in. All right, and you can see these things come out pretty dirty and a lot of that's from the sanding process and every little bit of that dirt increases the amount of expansion that takes place when you press the parts together. Now I've had tons of problems in the past with the acrylesters cracking during assembly so I take one extra step to make sure that that doesn't happen and that extra step is I'm going to take my Dremel tool. I have a chainsaw sharpening blade here on the end and I've got it set to about 10,000 RPM and I'm just going to take off a little bit on the inside. Uh, you don't want to take off so much that the parts don't fit uh, but you know even if you get it a, a little crazy a little CA glue uh, can help solve that problem. So I always insert before I turn it on that way I don't miss and muck up my blank. My goal here is to take off just a little bit on the insides. And you want to be careful while doing this because you can generate a fair amount of heat and cause problems with the adhesion of your tube or uh, again fracture the blank from heat. these out. And then I'm going to take a Q-tip and denatured alcohol and just give it one good pass up and down the entire length of the tube. Okay. Now we can assemble. So for the concavas, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to push the clip into the top. I like to take a look and see if there's a side that I think looks better. And I actually think this is a better direction here. So I have this little assembly tool that I got from Penn State. Works great. And I'm just going to slowly and gently push this in. Now that was a nice tight fit, but not so tight that I have any cracking problems with the blank. All right. Now the next thing is, is we're going to push the mechanism into the uh, Actually, I think we pushed the tip in, right? Yeah, so we're going to push the tip in 
on this and you'll see why you want to do the tip first on this piece so I've got an, I've got a hole in here that does a great job of getting a hold of my pen tip and making sure that it stays uh, straight gently go up I want to make sure that this slides straight in if your tip is or piece is wobbling around in here uh, you're going to put too much pressure on one side of the tube and you're going to cause a fracture. All right. Now, really important step, pushing in the mechanism. Now, you go in too far, you're going to have to disassemble the pen and it's just a ton of extra work. So you'll notice on here, I don't know if you can see it in the video, there's a little ridge and then there's the gold piece. I'm going to try to push it just far enough that I don't see the gold piece anymore. And then I'm going to pause. You got to be really careful because this wants to jump. All right, now I'm going to pause. I'm going to actually take my refill and I'm going to screw my refill in and I'm going to see how it works. And I am not even close to being deep enough. So take the refill out, push this back in. All right, not quite ready there. And I'm going to go a little deeper. Usually this ridge line on your mechanism is your stopping point. But depending on if you cut your tube too short, you cut your tube too long, uh, it's not going to be the, that case. So I am fully extending the mechanism and my pen tip is not coming out. So I'll go back in. I know this seems like a bunch of tedious work, but it's a lot better than having to dismantle the pen kit and start over and take a chance at ruining your pen mechanism. All right, I am just shy down there. So we're just going to keep working this, this part here. I'm doing as little as I can at a time. I'm still a little south. Okay. We're just going to keep working this. All right, I'm just starting to stick out there, so I need the slightest bit of a push here, and we should be done with this part. Okay. All right, that looks good. So the last and final step is we put on the center ring. The smaller part goes down, mates up with the larger top like that. And there we go, we have us a pen. I hope you found this video useful and uh, thanks for stopping by.